So the last step of the intro lesson is to figure out a way to tell the player it's game over. For example, if we start playing the game here, and let's move this way out of the way so it doesn't hit. So lives go to two, one, zero, and then we keep getting these negative lives, which is not really what you want. And once you get to zero, it should be game over. So let's stop this and let's put in a game over screen. So first of all, we're going to have to make that screen. So we'll go to the backdrops and right now we need to see the slopes and the XY grid. Let's make a new backdrop that we'll paint and we'll call it game over. Now, Now, let's make some text that says game over. I don't like that color for the text. Let's go to black. Okay, exclamation point. And then we'll also we'll move that so it's right in the center. Then we'll do another one that tells the player if they want to play again, they can click the green flag. To reposition the text, you grab the little circle in the middle and put it wherever you want. Once it has been, once you clicked off it, however, then you, the little green circle does not appear anymore. So you need to use the select box. So I want to move this. That's how you get the green circle back. And I also want the game over part to be bigger. So I go to the grow. Ooh, it grows everything. Okay, I did not know that. All right, so let's try that again. So select, select everything. Delete it. This is where you get different fonts, by the way. Let's try mystery. Game over. And then click off it, move it to where we want it. And we'll just grow this one. And then underneath, we will put the other text. Now we move that to the center. Okay, and maybe we'll make the background a different color. I'm going to use a gradient, not solid. I want it to be darker at the top, and let's make it field stain orange. Okay, let's look on the other side of this. Whoa, that's kind of cool, but not exactly what I want. So there's our game over screen, new backdrop. So in order to get that, let's go to the ball script, and so we have an if loop that says if touching paddle if touching the edge, if touching the oops line, we need one more if, and that is if lives equals zero, because that's when you want it to be game over. Just go to control, go to pull in the if block right here. We don't want the if on edge bound, so let's put that underneath it. And so if, go to operators, because we want an equals block, and now the two things we want equal are if score lives equals, we'll type in that box, zero, then we'll go to the looks. We're going to change the backdrop. We'll switch the backdrop to game over. And then we're also going to um, hide the ball. So we'll go to looks and we're going to hide the ball. 
and we're also going to stop everything. So we'll go to control, go down to the bottom, and stop all. So that stops all the scripts from running. So let's see if that works. Oh, so I clicked the green flag, but it starts with game over. Well, that's because we never told it when the program starts to go to the first backdrop. So what we need to do is set the backdrop in the beginning when we're setting all these things, like the lives, set it to slopes. Now let's try. Okay, let's see. Lives going down to two, going down to one, and zero. And there you go. Game over. Play again. Click the green flag. Click it. Ah, but now where's the ball? Well, because we hit it down here, we need to show it in the beginning. So let's make sure to switch the backdrop to slopes and show. So there you go. And that is your complete game with the backdrop change, game over, score, and lives being kept track of. Good job.